Welcome back to Campus View at Buckeye TV. I'm Isabel Rosario with my co-host. I'm Caleb Spinner. We've got a brand new set of guests in here today, so let's go through and meet them now. Hi, my name's Avery. I'm a second year communications major and I'm minoring in media production and fashion. Um, I'm Abby. I'm a fourth year marketing major and minoring in media production as well. Hi everyone, I'm Husna. I'm a fourth year in journalism and my minor is media production as well. So with this block we're going to be talking about must do events on campus and I don't know if anybody else is a sports person like me but I think if you go to Ohio State you know the number one event. Have any of you been to an Ohio State Michigan football game? Yes, I've been to a few games. I get the student package so I'm not like crazy about football, so I definitely sell some of my tickets, make some money. I sold my Michigan ticket last year and made some bucks from that, but I still go to like all the other games and it's really fun. Yeah, I go to the games as well. I did go to the Ohio State Michigan home game last year, and so I'm sad it's not home for my senior year, but um, it was fun, as fun as it could be. <laughs> Yeah, I have definitely gone to a lot of the games too in the past. Last year I did go to the Michigan game, Michigan game as well. Um, it was really fun. Um, I'm also sad that it's not home this year, but this year I decided to take all my tickets and sell them, make some bank, just like Avery, so yeah. Yeah, Michigan and Ohio State game is almost on everyone's bucket list. Um, something else that's really big on campus, I know every time I'm walking around the Oval, I've been seeing a lot of Buckeye Thon um, tables around. That's one of the biggest philanthropies going on. So do any of you participate in Buckeye Thon? I personally don't, but I know what it is. Yeah, okay, so that's like one of the biggest philanthropies. Definitely something um, people need to check out if you're watching. Another thing, um, if you went to the involvement fair, you notice hundreds and hundreds of student organizations in Ohio State. So can you tell me a little bit about events you've done through your student organizations? Um, I'm a part of Scarlet Magazine, which is Ohio State's fashion magazine. So I've done a lot of like fun fashion things. It's a really good way to be creative. So I really appreciate the creative outlets that Ohio State has to offer. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm a part of the American Marketing Association at Ohio State, and it's just a student org, but it's good to like network within like the marketing industry, and they bring in different companies to speak to us, so it's been good for just like my future career. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually in the Mus Muslim Students Association, so basically um, we have every, like every week we have events on Fridays, we also have events on the weekends sometimes, so yeah, I take part in that. And a lot of you align your student organizations with the professional, which you know, nobody asked me, but I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, rather than being a part of an, an interest, you're getting experience for your, for your professional life. But another thing that Ohio State has through those student organizations is career fairs. And I know a lot of upperclassmen, that's usually the time they do it, but freshmen and sophomores as well do that. Have any of you ever been to a career fair or at least know of ones coming up for your major profession? Yeah, I went to the one the other day. It was like, um, it had a lot of businesses, corporate businesses and nonprofits. Um, so I definitely found a few that I was interested in. Yeah, I've definitely been to a couple because I am in Fisher, so they always have them. And they're not as intimidating as people think. I think it's like the, the employers want to talk to you, so I would definitely recommend going. Yeah, I actually went to one of the career fairs in the springtime looking for a summer internship. And one thing that I learned in that is uh, you got to go up to those tables and you got to tell them what you want and what you're looking for in an internship or otherwise they'll just blap their mouth and you might not be looking for it. So make sure you know what you want and tell them that so then that way they can either tell you more or they can say this is it for you. I definitely agree with that. And we, with all the talk about career fairs and all the academic opportunities that Ohio State offers, it can get a little stressful sometimes and a little overwhelming. So we know one of the things people do is go to the gym or like do a little bit of yoga. I know the RPAC and North Rec, they offer some good fitness classes or you can just go along with your friends. So have any of you all tried any of that? Yeah, so sometimes the gym is super intimidating to me, so I definitely love the fitness classes that OSU offers. There's like Pilates, yoga, anything like that, and it's just kind of nice to have like a free fitness class where someone is actually like instructing you. 
Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I get, I don't like going to the gym alone, so taking like a fitness class is way better. And the fact that they're free for Ohio State students is so nice because like I've taken outside of Ohio State fitness classes and they're like $30 per class, which is <laughs> just so much. So yeah, it's definitely, I've taken advantage of it. Yeah, definitely. I'm actually in one class right now. It's one credit hour. It's strength and training. So I go to that two times a week for about an hour. Uh, it's really fun. And I'm interested in doing like wall climbing and ping pong next semester. So yeah, it's really good. Fun. Yeah, with wall climbing, there's a lot of rock climbing around campus also. Something to definitely try. And other stuff to get out of your stress is Ohio State does movies at the Oval and movies at the Union. Have you ever gone to any of the movies watching? I have personally never gone to the movies. With your friends, maybe in your dorm, have you do, does you do um, movie nights? I have not gone to the ones in the Oval. I've gone to, not the ones in the Oval, but I've gone to like movies at the Gateway. I know they have like $3 tickets at the Union, so I like to take advantage of that. They definitely do with the day ticks. Um, there's a lot of like tickets that they do. I know they do a lot of concerts at the shoe and a lot of um, presentations. Have you ever gone to that? Yeah, I've been to a few concerts with it. I actually went to um, the Stevie Nicks and Billy Joel concert with that. Okay. And then I know Ohio Union Activities Board does a lot of like free concerts. So I went to like Jaden Smith, Coin, things like that. Yeah, I did a, I went to a free concert for, I went to Wagga Flocka, which is like a rapper. <laughs> so random, not even a fan, but I just went because it was free, so. I personally have never been to one of the concerts, but Big Time Rush came over here, and I was trying to get a ticket, but it was, <laughs> I couldn't get one. It was too much. Okay. So, yeah. Definitely something to check out. I know oh, there's yeah. a lot of upcoming concerts coming around, so definitely something to check out. I, I will say, as a, as a movie watcher myself, Y'all broke my heart uh, with, that, with, that, with that question here, but do you guys have anything that's still on your bucket list that you want to get done before your time at Ohio State comes to an end? I do want to go to one of the free f flicks for free things. I think that would be fun. I saw one happening like out in the grass outside on the oval, and I thought that would be like cool to go to one outside. Yeah, I guess I just want to like take advantage of more of the free things going on before I leave. Um, I just want to enjoy campus for what it is before I graduate. Well, thank you all for coming on. Thank you to all of our wonderful guests who joined us today on Campus View. For all of our guests, our entire Buckeye TV production crew, and my co-host Isabel Rosario, I'm Caleb Spinner. That's the show. We're out of here. <laughs>